Hey, welcome back to Chase's Everything Shooting. Today I'm going to go on a topic that a lot of you probably haven't thought about, nor did you really care about, but once you hear and see some of this, you really might rethink what you're doing. So let's get into it. The underbed gun safe. That's what I said, under the bed gun safe. Let me tell you how this got started, and I'll do a real quick synopsis here. But my wife said, hey, I'd really like an underbed gun safe for uh, my birthday. And I said, baby, what, what do we need? We've got a couple of safes, we've got this, we've got that. No, I really want an underbed gun safe. I want to be able to put some of my guns in there put some of my jewelry, some documents, whatever. You know, I just, I really want that. And I want the security of that. Well, you know, and I said, why not these small ones and you can open it with your finger, or you can do this, you can do that. Nope, I want an underbed. So, I started off looking for underbed gun safes. Well, I'd done my research on all these other safes, so figured, okay, so I started looking and researching, and what I found is, is that there's some pretty cool underbed gun safes. And so I went to Amazon, I went to all the big manufacturers and kind of figured out which ones I wanted. And really, I ended up buying from Amazon. Now, what I did, uh, I did buy on that, and excuse my notes here real quick, but the brand I bought was a Snap Safe, and that's a Hornaday product. And so I went out and I thought, okay, this will be the right size and all this kind of stuff. And so I bought it for her, and we got it home. And I'll tell you, the dead gum thing was 136 pounds. So it's not a cheap, light safe. Now, what I will say is none of the safes, underbed safes I'll be talking about today, have any type of fire protection. Zero, okay? So remember, this is not a fireproof gun safe. Whatever is in there and there's a fire is gonna be damaged, okay? But let's look at what they have out there and see. The first one that I'm going to bring up is probably my next under, under bed safe. Now we have two. Uh, my wife has one and my son has one. And they both love them. They think this is the best thing. They hate getting into the, uh, to the big safes and going through all of that when they just keep the firearms that they like shooting the most in that drawer and under their bed. So let's get into the different brands and the different things that each one of them has and the different sizes, okay? Now what I'm gonna go is the top four that I feel are really worth looking into. There are some others they're made in China. Most of these are made in China. There are some really super cheap ones and there's some really nice ones. So the number one on the top of my list, okay, is the BB, BB King, okay? And you'll see it on Amazon. It's $409, not the most expensive, but it's not the biggest either. It's pretty small. It weighs 68 pounds. It's 46.8 uh, by 15.5 by 6.7 inches tall. It has a electronic digital faceplate, and then you have to turn this knob in order to open it. Now, one of the things I really like about this safe is A, it is a little bit narrower, so it doesn't go as far under your bed, but it's got straps in it 
to where if you want to stand it up like in a closet and bolt it to a wall or something, you can do that and it'll hold your rifles standing straight up. Now, is that a positive? In certain cases, depending on what you're doing, that could be a, sh uh, a big positive. But I kind of liked the quality and some of the features of this uh, safe a little bit more than some of the others. Now, I will say, I have not touched it. I have not played with it. But everything I've seen and read about it, the reviews were very good. Everything looked real, real good on this safe. The mechanism that you type in your code, and you can put in any code you want. You can use the standard code that they have, which I would suggest. Or you can get in by a key. And the key lock is actually hidden by a label. So you actually have to take this label off to get to the key lock to be able to open it up manually. Now, I will say, make sure that you keep that key outside of the safe because if the batteries die inside the digital electronics then you're going to have a hard time getting into that safe so make sure that you keep the set of keys somewhere else one of your other safes that you can get into okay now one of the things that I like about this safe is the metal is a little bit thicker than normal. It is steel and the bolts that come out on the side are larger than half inch. So the drawer opens up when you lock it, just like your normal safe at home, it has the big bolts that come out this way to hold that drawer in place. It also has a light inside there. Not all of them have lights, a digital light. So something to think about there. So that's the Beepkin. And I really think that'll be my next move when I do one of those, just because I think it's small enough that it may fit under the back seat of my truck. And I'll be able to bolt it down and be able to have it in there. I don't need anything super big. I usually just carry a rifle, a shotgun, and maybe a pistol or two and a little ammo. So uh, that's probably going to be my next move. Now, there is a suggestion on these, and they all come with a cable, okay? And so you can run the cable inside the unit and then out to an eye hook with a padlock. And I'm going to tell you, I've seen some of these where people are not really smart. Don't put your eye hook onto your drywall with a molly because if someone wants that safe, they're just going to rip that eye hook out. We drilled and tapped into our stud and put a big uh, eye hook in there. That way, they would, it would take them a long time to break it or get it out. And really the whole point is you just want to slow them down or make it un, uh, not fun for them to try to get in. So uh, all the different safes come with those different items. So think about that when you do it. Some, the digital electronics are a little bit different how they open. But for the Beepkin, that's probably, I think, one of the best and it, it's probably one, it looks like it's one of the most sturdy. Okay, the uh, other one is a uh, Procar, and that's an Amazon kind of a brand. It's not super duper heavy duty, um, but you know, it's alloy steel. It has the electronics on the front to be able to dial in everything. And its size is 13.75 by 43.25 by five inches tall. So it's a little bit smaller, a little less of a gauge, but you know what? It'll get you through what you want to do. What you're trying to do is just make it hard for someone to steal your firearms or your jewelry or whatever. You know darn well if they want it, they're going to get it. That's just the way it is. So this is just protection to slow them down 
and discourage them a little bit. Now, that product is $369. The first one I talked about was $409. Still, not a bad, uh, bad price for something underneath the bed. Now, one of the things I will bring in here is that the one I purchased, which was the Snap Safe, I actually had to raise my bed up about an inch because my bed was too low, because I had a box spring that was real large and then a big, large uh, memory foam mattress. And so it sat down pretty low. So I did have to do that. So make sure you measure and you know your diameters, that way your dimensions. So that way you, you know if you're gonna need to raise your bed up a little bit. Now, the, uh, the next one in this uh, category is the Aegis. And it's 44 inches by 23 inches by five inches. And it is the most like the Snap Safe, other than their digital setup. And their digital setup is really kind of nice because there's little LEDs on the outside and it tells you when your batteries are starting to go down. So I think that's a huge plus. All of them have a way to get in with a key. But remember, if the battery dies, you gotta use that key. So you can't leave that key locked into the safe. Now the sizes and diameters and heights all vary from the different brands. So it's something you're gonna to have to look at and think about, okay? Now the Aegis, um, it is 100 pounds. So it's not a light safe. Trust me, when it gets down there, you don't want to move it. And once you get it hooked up with that cable, you don't want to move it. It's staying right where it is. So it's a great deterrent because of the weight involved. So I would say definitely look at the Aegis brand. I think personally it's probably made by SnapSafe. Don't know for sure, but it kind of looks similar. And I'm gonna guess, you know, if it's not, it's a, it's a great knockoff, I'll, I'll tell you that. So definitely a good product to look at. Very, very simple to use. Okay, so then we're going to uh, jump in to the Snap Safe. And the Snap Safe is really, really nice. It really, really is. They have three different sizes, and they go from uh, a 48 by 24 by seven, uh, all the way down to our smallest size that we had there. Now, I will tell you that, you know, that's a, the Snap Safe is made by Hornady. Now, is it made in America? I don't think so but Hornady's got great customer service, so it's something to think about. The Snap Safe is $649, okay? And that's for, the, that's for the large version. That version weighs 136 pounds. So it's not going anywhere. It's got a great size, it's got a great diameter, and it opens up really, really nice. Now, during this, I'll be showing you pictures of the different safes and what I've been talking about. But it's something to think about. They're quick, they're easy. Would I tell you that this is what you should have to keep your handgun in that you wanna protect your family really quick? No, because I don't wanna be going do 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 twist, and then pulling out to get to my gun. Quite honestly, if I don't have any kids here, it's sitting in my nightstand because I want to be able to grab it and go. So again, it's probably not the best for what, for quick entry. They're relatively quick, but for quick entry, I probably wouldn't use it. I'd get a smaller one or keep it in your nightstand. But it is a great, these are great products and it's something really to look at. I will tell you, I enjoy ours. My wife loves hers. She can get in there and do her thing and get her gun out if she wants, 
or she's got all of her jewelry down there. So she goes through and gets her jewelry pieces and puts stuff away. And, you know, again, it's one of those things where I thought it was going to be useless. And I will tell you, it's been a great investment. It really has. My son loves his. His is packed full of uh, his revolvers. And uh, he just loves it because it's, it's big enough to put a bunch of them in there. And they're all locked up and he can get to them. He keeps his favorite guns in there is what he does. He keeps, uh, I believe, a rifle in there and um, I would think about 10 handguns. So something to think about. My wife keeps uh, her lever action rifle in there along with some uh, another firearm and all of her jewelry and all of that stuff. So, you know, again, it's one of those things where you might not be thinking about one of these, but it really is a great purchase, and it really, really, really is worth the money. So what I would tell you is, and it's hot out here, I'm in Texas and it's definitely hot, but what I tell you is, hey, do your research and think about it. You really might be surprised how great those underbed safes are. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. Do me a favor, hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the subscribe button. That way when I come out with something else, then you'll know about it. Now, 